There weren't cameras everywhere when I would take my boys to the Adirondack Mountains when they were young. So I don't have pics of those days. We went every summer for about two weeks camping and exploring. Now they're in their 30s and I'm in my 60s. And we agreed we should return after all these years and go back to the places we'd had so much fun and swim and fish and paddle in the remote northern wilderness. So they booked an Airbnb and I tailed them in the super van and we had a great time. I cobbled together this video of our four day weekend. They came up from the south on a 10 hour drive and I roamed in from my nomad life, driving my stealthy home on wheels. It almost didn't go well, but keep watching and you'll see how things eventually worked out. has to sit here in the hammock in the shade and hold down the fort. That's me. <laughs> He's right, they got four more days. They love to hang out on that rock all day. We used to come, the boys and I, and park down here and go straight out to the lake. And we'd either fish all day and swim, or they would fish, and I would lay in my backpack and hammock on shore and watch them. They'd paddle out to this island, I'll show you. It's really just a rock, surrounded by water about 60 feet deep. It's pretty neat to see because uh, they'd stay out there hooting and hollering and having a ball all day. And I would get messages. The wind prevails this way. So from the from the rock island, they would take a, like a plastic bottle, put little messages in it, and throw it in the water, and eventually it would make its way to me. They were juvenile. Look, the water level's so high. All you can see is that rock of the rock island. Is that little tiny rock. 
And this beach was continuous. I don't know why it's so high. The second day, we rented a pontoon boat and we went to places where we had camped along the shore, jumped off rocks just like old times, and fished. We fished a lot, didn't catch anything but small ones, which were used as bait for pike and smallmouth. No luck. third day, they climbed to the summit of Blue Mountain. I waited at the base, as I had done years ago, when they climbed it as boys. Funny thing was, it took them about twice as long to return as it did the first time they climbed it, and they were amazed at how strong they were as kids. A family with skinny six-year-olds make the climb ahead of them with no problem, and when they reach the fire tower, the kids climb the stairs with speed and excitement. My son Scott climbed to the top too and was so tired, he proclaimed that the view wasn't worth it. <laughs> they wanted to fish after that adventure, and so we went to Lake Durant, which is at the base of Blue Mountain. Fished in a stiff wind and caught nothing. It was a tough day, and they took a swim to wash off the sweat from their climb. The next morning, the pressure was on. No one talked about it, but three days of fruitless fishing weighed heavy on their minds. No one said it, but I knew. They had to go back to work in a day or two. And the first thing their coworkers and friends would want to see was pictures of all the fish they caught. We usually caught fish. We are good fishermen. We were wondering if we would catch fish this trip. I didn't worry about it because I live the van life and can fish without these heavy psychological pressures, but my boys couldn't. They had a finite amount of chances to catch fish, or else the story of their fishing trip would be no fish. So on the morning of the last day of the trip, there was tension in the air. And then Mike, not my son, but a friend of Scott's that we used to bring along on every trip, a part of us now, as much as anyone, 13, Caught 14, a nice yeah. largemouth bass. Yeah. Nice. And now we have a yeah, fish. Yeah, almost 15, really. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, buddy. There we go. 
Go go near Kenny and say, who's the man now? Who's yeah. the man now? <laughs> there you go, Kenny, all right. That is a hell of a fish. Oh yeah. That's a pretty color too. Darker the water, the darker the fish. He's got him. Yeah. He's got him. I'll get the net. Hang on. Oh wait, that's over here, isn't it? Yeah. It's over there. It's over there. No, I brought it over here. It's right there. Look, look around you. It's a big one. Wait, I'm getting bites too. All right, who's bringing the net? What's going on? Scott's going to get going right now. Nice. Do it one more time, Ken. All right, congratulations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Look at the fish in his mouth. So what? Oh, no. My fish is definitely not still alive. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, where, where's those uh, pliers? I got them right here. You want to string them up with mine? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I got my bait back. <laughs> <laughs> now that's your lucky bait. All right. I'll just throw them in the back of mine. All right. He might jump. Oh, <laughs> I got it. Yeah. Oh, that again. Grab it. All right. Ow. Ow, his teeth. I think you got the two largest oh my ones. God. <laughs> and my bait's still here. Right. Look at that. <laughs> Very nice. Not bad. Very nice. Yeah, you definitely still have your bait. Yeah, I wonder if it's still alive. Okay, I think our lines are broke. What a beauty. Look at that. Hey, let's oh, get the I tape measure. Raj? Could you grab the tape measure out of the tackle box? Man, they are just active today, huh? I don't know. Bucket mouth. Nice. What do you got? 18 inches. Oh my god, my other one's 19. Wait for it. It'll come back. Yeah, you're right. Ha ha ha! You have the net, Scott? Oh, did get off? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Wait, it's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. Hurting me. Oh, wait. All the scary parts are right there. Oh, man. We gotta wash them off for the picture. Well, let's, let's just go with those guys. Yeah, yeah. Don't let it go. I will not let it go, Rod. Grab your rod.
another one. Man, we're killing it. Did you uh, dispatch that one yet? No. We, I think it's a tiger muskie and we got to know how long it's legal. But we, do we have a way of figuring that out? Uh, Kenny's phone. Oh yeah, he took pictures. Dude, let's get a, let's get a twin pick. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time. Oh my gosh. The beast of the north. Now, Hold them out to make them look much, much bigger. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Yeah, just throw them all in there and then untie the rope. Hey guys, I mean we went out, got the fish, you know, perfect deal, you know. Roger, I think I'm going to throw yours on for a little bit more. Yeah, it definitely. A little bit longer. Very nice. Smells so good. All right, guys, I think this is done. I think you're right. You can see all the smiling faces. It was such a fine ending to a fine Adirondack reunion. In October, during the peak of fall colors, I returned. It was so beautiful. I missed my boys. Knowing they were all at work and I was free to paddle, I'm glad I have an audience to share the moments of natural beauty, or it would be lonely to see it only myself. But that's not the case when I have my GoPro ready. Better than catching a nice fish is having these videos. I can watch them many years from now, like a trip back in time to the day they all caught nice fish and returned home dry out. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. More good stuff on the way, my friends.